Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Obi and I'm a new YouTuber. Yes, I'm new in the YouTube world. In my videos, I'm gonna be doing things or talking about things that I love, guys. So, I love fragrances, so I'm gonna be reviewing some very nice fragrances, both niche fragrances and affordable, you know, middle range fragrances. I'm gonna be talking about some DIYs and you know some life hacks. I'm also going to be giving you guys important information that I think you guys need to know. I'm also going to be giving you guys some insight to my lifestyle, you know, and my faith, you know, since I'm a Christian. So I'm going to be giving you guys all that too. So if you are interested in one of these topics I just listed now or any of these topics, please click on the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell below to um, get notified whenever I post a new video. And if there are other things you feel I should also add to my channel, please leave your comment in, this, in the comment section below. So, on to it guys. So today, we're gonna to be reviewing a fragrance. Yeah, so this fragrance is a very affordable fragrance by an upcoming brand, or should I say a well-known brand in some part of the world. Yes, so I'm gonna be reviewing that fragrance, you know, it's, a, it's an affordable fragrance. So it's a fragrance from the line of Amaf. So as some of you know, Amaf is a Middle Eastern fragrance brand based in the Middle East, like I just said. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they make, I think they make um, fragrances that are like dupes or should I say copy of some original fragrances um, that most of you um, know, some original popular fragrances. So to it guys, in this video we're going to be reviewing the Club the New It Women by Amaf. So this is how the um, Club the New It Women by Amaf looks like. It comes in a square like, um, yeah, or rectangular shaped bottle as you can see. It also has a gold cap with some stones on it and a coin like thing in front of it here with um, like a stone on it with the name on, uh, written on its armor. Also, um, it comes in a heavy glass, yes, with also the name of the fragrance club, the new it um, embossed on it, as you can see. Also, in the yeah, that was hard to open, <laughs> yes. So, the nozzle, yes, it also had the armor embossed on it as you can see so for the bottle it's quite heavy and this is a 105 ml bottle yeah it's an edp yeah so for the price guys i think it's so worth it it's worth it guys so this is a copy of a popular fragrance that most of you know so i'll be showing you where this fragrance where i think this fragrance was copied from guys yeah you'll be amazed the juice also smells great let's see quite a decent spray from the nozzle let's go again as you can see yeah so a good amount of juice like moderately comes out of <laughs> this you know yeah so that's it for the bottle and yeah I think it's one you can just you know use it to still decorate like it's quite heavy and it looks good it looks good for you know just um, putting it on your shelf and all that so that's it for the bottle guys so onto the notes of this fragrance guys for the top notes you have the bergamot you have the orange you have the peach the grapefruit and for the middle notes you have the geranium you have the jasmine you have the rose and for the base note guys you have the musk you have the patchouli you have the vanilla so for the CH guys i would give it an eight out of 10 because i feel it's a very it has a very strong opening you know it's bold it's classy it's 
when you enter a room with this fragrance, right, it covers like, should I say, 80% or 90% of the room. Yes, it's quite good. It's a good performer, guys. And for the longevity, I would also give it a an 8, guys. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 also. So from this my review, you can see that it's a good performer, guys. It's a good, you can't go wrong. I don't think you can go wrong with this fragrance. So what do I think about this fragrance, guys? I think this fragrance is classy. I think it's sophisticated. I think it's, you know, bold. Yes, bold. Yes, yeah, so it's bold. It has a very strong opening, guys. So for this fragrance, I don't recommend, you know, just spraying it and stepping into an enclosed place with somebody's child, you know, before you, before you step into a car or, you know, into a room or into an elevator with someone, please spray this um, fragrance, like, and give it, like, five to ten minutes, you know, before you get into the car or an enclosed place with someone guys so that you don't choke someone's child i think it's bold i also think it's mature yeah so i would recommend it for a youthful woman in her, the age of you know between the age of her mid-20s and her mid-30s although women of all ages can use this fragrance uh, for me i'm more of a you know oriental fruity kind of fragrance which is which this fragrance falls into or within that category guys well, because for a younger lady i would actually if i was younger or if i would recommend this for a younger lady i would go more for you know the fruity sexy kind of fragrance guys but like i said i would recommend this for a youthful woman in her mid-20s and her mid-30s guys so why can't you rock this fragrance you can rock this fragrance to like for vacations for your business meetings to the office to the church you know to your mosque to anywhere you guys you can rock this fragrance but i wouldn't recommend this fragrance you know for you know if you are going out shopping if you are going out like if you're for sports no i wouldn't recommend this why because i don't think this is a good performer in the hot or humid environment guys i think you need something fresh you need something you know um relaxing you know something you know lighter because this has a very heavy opening guys so that's why i said if you are to rock this fragrance please Give it some time to sink in before you get into an enclosed space with someone because this can be quite choking and you know when the weather is hot when the sun is shiny when you are in like the market or you know sports doing like some sort of sporting activity you won't just it's just you know it's i just feel it's too much i just feel it's too much to you know just take in like you wouldn't even like it. i don't feel for me, I wouldn't even like it on myself. I prefer something fresh, something, you know, relaxing, something that smells like, you know, like lemon, something zesty, that smells like the ocean. Yeah, that's what I would prefer. Yeah, when I'm in doing those kind of activities, guys. So that's it for what i would recommend this uh, fragrance for. Although this fragrance is very um, widely appealing yeah and timeless guys so where do i think this fragrance was copied from this fragrance i think was copied from the coco mademoiselle by chanel guys this is the coco, uh, coco mademoiselle by chanel edp intense yes so for the price i think it is quite you know affordable for them to be able to produce a juice that is similar to what is in this guys because for you all who know this fragrance right guys this is one of the best fragrances i've used and if you feel it's one of the best fragrances you've used you can leave your comments in the comment section below so yes this was copied from the coco chanel coco mademoiselle by chanel which is also an oriental fruity fragrance guys this has almost similar notes like the top note orange blossom and the uh, middle note the rose you know the rose and the 
um, base note which this has i think the vanilla and the musk the white musk that is what is in this so they have like similar very similar notes for the juice guys this is 105 ml while this coco mademoiselle by chanel is 100 ml this looks smaller but because of the bottle this bottle is quite heavy guys it's quite heavy so i think for the difference of 5 ml the bottle will tell so they put come in rectangular clear glass bottles and this has the coco chanel the coco mademoiselle chanel has a rectangular clear cap also and while this has a gold square cap with the stones on it so that's the difference between the bottles this has its name coco mademoiselle chanel written on the body while this has the name club the new written below um on the bot below on the bottom of the bottle and on this um gold coin like kind of thing in front of it so that's it guys for the differences in this so what would i what do i think about the two i think this for this this has a very strong opening than the coco mademoiselle by chanel so for me personally i prefer this if i'm to select i love this i love this when you know i love this when i got it i loved it before i knew about this but this also is a good performer guys so you they are both good performers guys they are both good performers but i think this has a more heavy opening than the original which is the coco mademoiselle by chanel you know this is this is very you know it's classy it's just it's just what it is guys you know for those of you who know this fragrance it is one of my best fragrances and you know i've used it to like half half of the bottle yes so yeah so um i just kind of got this and also i've used it to a particular to a particular extent guys because i really love the performance you know and most times i use this just to save some of this juice guys yes so that's what i do so for the price guys i got the club the new it woman from Isela on instagram which i will link in my description box below i got this for around fifteen thousand naira which is like 37 or 38 dollars right now i think and i got the um coco mademoiselle by chanel intense um, for around like 40 to 45,000 naira, which would be around between 100 and 115 um, dollars right now. So, if you're married with your husband or you're in a relationship with your boyfriend, yes, both of you can complement each other with the club, the new it intense man. So, you can see the husband and the wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you have these two combo guys and you guys are you know rocking this affordable brilliant wonderful smelling fragrance guys so if for the guys out there if you would like me to review the club the new it intense man please leave your comment in the comment section below and i will do justice to the review of this fragrance guys so that's it they are in similar you know like shaped bottles yeah those are this is black and this is like the classy transparent fragrance um, bottle <laughs> yeah so that's it guys for this fragrance so if you like this video please give me some thumbs up by clicking on the like button below also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video 